Hi, Hiram here. The other day I was over to my local Army Navy store checking through their camping stuff and I picked this up. It's a, can you see it there? It's an Outback Australian, it's a, well basically what it is is it's an anodized aluminum tea kettle. It says put out by Outback Australia. I looked it up on the internet and I can't find anything about it, but I figured for $9.95 I'd give it a try. I've wanted a tea kettle because most of the food that I do when I'm out camping is either uh, dehydrated or stuff like oatmeal, things like that. And frankly, boiling water and something like this and then trying to pour it off is just a pain. So I've always wanted to get a tea kettle. But I'm not a titanium kind of guy. I just can't afford that kind of money. So I figured I'd give this a try. It's aluminum, anodized aluminum, so it's fairly tough. It has a handle. It will come off. I think I may string up a wire handle on this instead of this. Now what I've done is I've already put in a uh, the configuration that I think I might carry this in. I weighed it. Just the pot by itself is 146 grams or about 5.1 ounces or 0.32 pounds. Definitely not gram weenie stuff. With the stuff that I have in here, it now weighs 424 grams, 14.95 ounces or 0.934 pounds, almost a pound. And what I have in is the mini Trangia stand with a small Trangia burner. Two fluid ounces of alcohol is in here. And also I have a uh, Sea to Summit bowl that I've been using. It's a nice little collapsible bowl that will handle hot water. It also has measurements on the side for three quarter cup, two cup. It's basically a two cup container if you go all the way to the top. But this is pretty handy. And it fits inside this kettle. So this is what I have inside. I think I'm going to try it with this. But for today I just want to do a boil test. So I'm going to use the regular Trangia stand and the small burner. Because I want to compare the boiling time on this to something like the uh, small pots before I painted the black on it. If I remember right, this the boil time on this for two cups was nine minutes eight seconds. So I use that for a comparison on this. I have two cups of water here, setting at about 56. This will raise the temperature, I'm sure, putting it in here. This kettle will hold a little more than three cups before you get up to the line of the spout. Let me start this and get a bloom on it. Now if I just carried the tea kettle I'm sure it would be, well like I said it was what, 146 grams. It was about 5 ounces. This may not pan out, who knows, but I just thought I'd try this configuration later. Okay, I have, I think there's a, just about a bloom started there. I have to turn this pot around. The temperature of the water is, how about that, 59, 60 degrees. Let's put it on the burner and let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 
212 at 839. That was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, 59, 60 degrees. Came to a boil in 8 minutes and 39 seconds. When I did it with the cook kit pot before it was painted black, it took 9 minutes and 8 seconds. Now here's the, you know, the thing that I want to do. Have the, with this, I can just take and pour my hot water, if it was into oatmeal or something, just pour it right in there. And like I said, there's graduates on the, it's graduated on the inside, so it can, you can see how much you're pouring in. So that wasn't too bad. It's a little bit quicker, about a half a minute quicker with this configuration than with the other pot. Now what I'm going to do now is let all this stuff cool off and I'll do a quick test using the uh, mini Trangia pot stand with the Trangia. Let's see what this does. I'll be, ri I'll be right back. Hi, Hiram here. I'm going to do the second part to this test. I figured while I had all the stuff out, I might as well give this mini Trangia stand a test. I've let everything cool down. Uh, I filled this back up to two ounces of fluid, fluid ounces of denatured alcohol in here. And we'll give, try with this. The reason why I'm trying this with this one is I just think that this West Wind stove stand is a little bit slow. I thought it would be a really cool stand in the fact that it breaks apart into three pieces, you know, that stack up real nice and neat and flat, lightweight. But if you put a thermometer, you know, like one of these things, if you shoot it onto the side, this tends to get a bit warm. The flames come up and flick onto this part, and then the whole thing acts like a wick, a heat wick. So I'll try it with this. Let me get this started and get the balloon going. I think I've found that mostly the, the simple stands, the hardware cloth and some of the other ones, the simple stands seem to do the fastest. But this is a, a handy stand that the Trangia fits right in. It holds it in the middle. Uh, of the stand. It tapers off here so there's not quite as much wicking done with it. But uh, we'll see what happens. Not sure what that's caused by. Maybe I need new alcohol. Okay, it looks like I got a bloom there. I have two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 212 at 631. So this time we bought two cups of water starting at 60 degrees to a full boil in 6 minutes and 31 seconds. Uh, the last time using the West Wind stove. It took 8 minutes and 39 seconds, almost 2 minutes more. Oh, I just thought of the other thing. Uh, the other thing that I think is wrong or incorrect about this is the magic number with a Trangia stove, a burner, the distance between the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot seems to be about 1 inch. That seemed 1 inch plus or minus a little bit if anything more a little more than one inch but the one inch seems to be the magic number to get your best burn time boil time on this when the Trangia rests on this part there's only about three quarters of an inch to the bottom of the pot I'd often thought of grinding this down another quarter of an inch and then testing it to see what it goes like 
that might just bring this back up to a good time. But that missing quarter inch, I think, is hurting this stove. So anyway, here I have myself a pot, or kettle rather, to use when I go back out, especially in winter camping coming up. And I think I may just try this on the outside. I like the Trangia burner a lot, even though it's heavy. Uh, you get to hold two, three ounces of alcohol inside the burner. I've got a little steam coming off there. So anyway, that's my new tea kettle. Sorry it's not titanium, but just can't afford that kind of stuff. I only have a couple of things that are titanium. Uh, a Vargo spoon for one. And I have a small titanium S-bit burner somewhere around here. So, I hope that helps some of you. I, as always, I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. Nothing to think and think.